Hello. In this video, we're going to show you how to use OpenSSL to export information from a PKCS12 file. The PKCS12 format, also commonly known as PFX, is a binary format for bundling one or more certificates and a private key into a single file. A common use of PKCS12 is to bundle a certificate with its chain of trust and private key into a single password protected file. You'll usually see PKCS12 files with the file name extensions .p12 or .pfx. To follow the instructions in this video, you'll need OpenSSL installed on your system. OpenSSL is an open source toolkit for the SSL and TLS protocols. If you're on a Unix system, like Linux or Mac OS, OpenSSL is probably already installed on your system. If you're running Windows, you can easily install OpenSSL with Sigwin or the Windows subsystem for Linux. So let's get started. To parse a PKCS12 file and view its contents on screen, use this command. Throughout this video, replace any placeholder file names in all caps with your actual file names. In this command, OpenSSL is the command for running OpenSSL. PKCS12 is the OpenSSL utility for working with PKCS12 files. Dash info, optional, outputs some additional information about the file, such as its structure and the algorithms used. Dash in, infile.p12, specifies a PKCS12 file for input. Dash no DES, specifies that the private key will not be encrypted. After typing enter, you will be prompted for the password of the PKCS12 file, and then the contents of the file will be printed directly to the screen. If you would like to encrypt the private key and protect it with a password before output, simply omit the no DES option from the previous command. This time, you will be prompted to create and verify a passphrase for the private key. Note that the beginning and ending text of the key now shows that it is encrypted. If you only want to extract the private key, add the no certs option to the command. If you only want to extract the certificates, use the no keys option. You can export the certificates in private key from a PKCS12 file and save them in PEM format to a new file by specifying an output file name with the OUT option. Again, replace the placeholders in all caps with your own file names. As before, you can control encryption by adding or removing the no DES option from the command, and add no certs or no keys to output only the private key or certificates. So, to generate an unencrypted private key file, we can use this command. And to create a file with only the certificates, use this command. The examples shown so far all output the private key in OpenSSL's default PKCS8 format. If you know you need PKCS1 instead, you can pipe the output of OpenSSL's PKCS12 utility to its RSA or EC utility depending on the key type. For RSA keys, use this command. For ECDSA keys, use this command. You can tell the difference between PKCS8 and PKCS1 formatted private keys by looking at the first line of text. PKCS1 format will specify the algorithm. PKCS8 format will not specify the algorithm and may also be encrypted. Thank you for watching this video and we hope it has been helpful. For much more information about working with digital certificates, please visit our website at www.ssl.com.